yes welcome back to my youtube channel the revit guy and um today we'll continue our construction documentation series and today we are doing um call sections yeah so we finished the staircase and now we're moving on to wall section so this is basically it so from a section you want to probably just do like an edge of the building so you sort of like detail everything on that so yes when you get that on the section that section a is then we'll create new sheets a2 yes so if you notice when you create sheet after that sheet organization we did last week you would have to come here and put it under the app uh, Right, so it goes here. You see what I mean? We name this should be um, 10 and 0 uh, well, section. Yep, so yeah, so this would we'll go to 200 series yep so yeah we'll put this here let's go on to 50 sims 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 descent sims descent yeah so definitely you start to first of all put this guy on fine you know the drill of this guy here yeah. And put it on, on the other side you know things we normally do so we don't so the work is as legible as possible yes 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 i wonder why this is my part of anyway so um what do we do let me just arrange my shit first the next thing that i would do i normally like to do just for context is i would orient right click on that on the view cube orient to view and i'll orient to that view so that like i have a 3d image of that area so which one is clear so you can uh, stretch and other things this guy still yeah uh -huh so let's see is this decent enough maybe maybe shouldn't it like this would be better i think i kind of like this hmm? i don't know so this is not bad so it gives you an idea of the section so definitely We'll put this in our. Oh no, I'm supposed to save this view. Rather rename it to rename um, section A A or section A. Let's read section. All section. So go to shit and sucks. I didn't even rename it well. Sorry, I would have double I in the section. Yeah. So bring home here and you scale. So um. Hmm. I'm trying to still look at this view whether I like it. Uh, I think this might be better. Uh, I think this is better. Okay. So 
So, um, yes, what was I saying? Yeah, okay, so I want to scale this guy. Um, let's scale again. I think we use scale 1 to 50. So, sorry, I'm trying to click out. And then. Um, Uh, why I want to reduce that? Uh, sure, so it doesn't look big. So I want to crop the view to what we have, right? Uh -huh. So that and see, this is fine uh, let me reduce this guy so pretty much put everything on shit uh hiding view element so let's again we'll hide this guy yeah I'm still not convinced with this angle, but anyway, let's continue so I don't waste time. So for this, I want to stretch out this your crop boundary so that your text will show that kind of thing. So and also this would also give birth to its own call out. So um, you can call out the side. You can also call out the side. You can also call out the side. So you put that on sheet and you know get everything started. So um, I don't know whether I should do this first one. Then maybe next class do the next one i mean these are three or maybe i just pause do this one quickly you know so that we can have everything condensed to one video maybe that's what i would do yeah that's what i would do okay so uh what i want to do now is i will go and copy so that i don't waste time i'll go and copy all this and um, where's my section i'll go and copy all these detail items there's the real section. Oh, yeah, I'll uncopy. Yes, this guy, all these things. Copy all these guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I was, I should have uploaded last week, but I was sick. I was down with fever for like three or four days. So that's why I couldn't really do much. I mean, I couldn't upload videos and all. So I'm just copying all my, you know, things that I know would show. So what I would do now is I open group all these things. Now on this, so this. So I copy, come here, and I paste mm -hmm. Why is it not showing the option to paste? Did I not copy properly? Select previous. Mm -hmm. mm. This is strange. Anyway, what you mean I will not have stats? Ah, oh, sure, it's gonna stress my life sometimes. 
Anyway, paste on clipboard. So I'll start off. Make sure these guys are aligned. I'm supposed to see paste the current view. Yeah, so I stopped the video to investigate what the problem was. I was actually copying ceiling. That's why I could not align to current view of my imagery. So I'll just create a group of this. And just let me, oops, I forgot to copy here. So, no problem. So copy this guy, paste it here. <laughs> Then obviously I would um, copy what I can copy from the little label. Right so the reason why you do that is to add more details to your add more details to your sections. I mean to your drawing so that they sort of understand it better. You know that kind of thing. So they understand it better they have it where's my shit they can drill into especially the way you anchor stuff like um connection between like slab and staircase slab and your external floor you know just to give it more details and all this kind of stuff so that's basically why you do this I mean, so that when you're working with a good contractor, it make all these things make sense. And uh, yeah, so my page is growing. It's growing really fast. Like I didn't even. I was saying that this year, if I even get up to 500 followers or subscribers, ah, I will not have done well. But apparently, I'm almost at 500, and I still have like four months to go so it's really good it's really encouraging those little but it's encouraging so yeah i wanted to talk about contractors how is it really working with contractors in your countries so let me know what it is like i will tell you my own experience my own country yeah, what, what, what is like working with contractors and um, vendors and craftsmen as your installers and the likes. What's it like? What's it like? Let me know. Let me know. So I'm just copying the labels that I had. I'll definitely add some more. I don't know why my mouse is not going to draw a window. Anyway, so TX, so that's TX for text, that's the short key for text. So now when you see stuff like this, what it means is that your text went out of your crop window. So when you stretch it, yeah, you see it. So it does that, it's quite annoying, I'm not even going to lie. but. That's uh, Revit doing Revit, you know. So, and uh, we always have an argument in my office. So <laughs> they always try to say Revit is a pretty software. Akikad is better. One guy is Akikad in my office. Akikad is better. Da 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 da. I'm like, oh boy. Yes, yeah, so Akikad can be annoying and everything. But okay, let's calm down, calm down. I'm just thinking of the best way to play this guy. It's maybe something like this, it's fine. So if you notice I'm acting when you are doing your annotations, let your you know label stick. So what I would do 
so that this video is under 20 minutes i'll just post it here finish detailing all of them then i'll come and talk you through but this is basically it you do one you do a call out you go there show more details and other stuff and you always want to hide make sure you are what they call it your your the annotation for your call out is you know visible so that they know how to track it that kind of thing so i will see you later i even want to even learn guys i'm such a I'm such a, I don't want to say an old guy, but like I'm such a novice in this software that I'm using to record this video. So I'm supposed to be able to do that stuff that you fast forward it. I mean, I'm not even interested in learning. I'm not even trying to do it. I have it in mind, but anyway, let's, I'll see you later. So yeah, I'm, I'm true with this. So if you noticed, so I labeled it. Then, so the interesting thing or the difference between this and your normal session is that you start to have more details. So I did this, labeled this, labeled the ceiling, the aluminium window, the tiles, um, ceiling, you know, just added more details then. Further blew it up on a bigger scale so the drawings appear bigger. I added this. Then I started naming like this and all this kind of stuff. You come here, you start to see, add more label, add more details. Uh, so I label the still hanger, um, the wall, what down label the okay, then the floor slab, the beam. You add that in the foundation, you add added the um finished floor, the floor slab, the ground beam um the earth hardcore and all this kind of stuff so you just add more details so this is pretty much what i mean this is like your very basic one definitely you will have more details add more stuff so you might now start to uh you might be adding maybe sketching you want to do sketching you want to add you know just everything that you can see and you can conceive that you know will happen in the course of the construction. So this was just an idea on how you do it. And if you notice, um, all labels are straight or have this, if you are going down, it's going down straight. Everything is lined up in terms of where they start. And you know, so no dimension is crossing anyone. So you just make it very presentable, very legible and that is it on wall section. So the next class, so we've done plans, we've done elevation, we've done section, we've done staircase, we've done wall section. Oh, we've gone far. Mm, the next class, so maybe we'll do um, wet areas, kitchen and bathrooms. Then we'll do internal elevations, then we'll do joinery. We're almost done, then we'll do external works. Uh, with that, I think we'll most likely be done. Every other thing will just be adding more volume because obviously when you are doing this wall section you would um, do more than one so maybe for almost all your sections you take this edge take this edge so there you show how this connects to this and you know you know we just this is just for learning purpose so we did only one so thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one don't forget to like subscribe comment and share my videos and also grow the community and for those of you that used to come and watch because i have more watchers than subscribers subscribe i'm looking at you so um i think now i can do 1000 less so let's try and get 1000 subscribers before the year ends i mean that'll be huge but let's see how it goes let's see how that goes so thank you very much and see you on the next one